Hello and welcome to another Digital Transformation Snack Time Snippet. This is the third in our series on the Internet of Behaviors. We've talked about advantages, applications, and case studies of Internet of Behaviors, and today we'll be hearing a little bit about ethical and privacy concerns of the Internet of Behaviors, and we're going to have a Q&A session. And with that, I'll go ahead and turn it over to Rajaswari. Now we will come to the ethical issues. So as I already told that um, if the user clicks in a site uh, uh, anywhere, so every click will be tracked. And what we are doing in that, uh, each and everything will be tracked. So this is a privacy issue. In, in fact, a customer doesn't know that uh, we are uh, tracked each and every point by the... This is a threat. <clears throat> So crucial data of a consumer being put to numerous unethical and unexpected misuses. And chances of uh, data being hacked is always there. So this humongous uh, sensitive data, huge data being collected and tracked by the companies pose the threat of being uh, misused for nefarious activities. So the rate at which the world is adopting smartphone technology creates ghost bombs in us. When we think of a damages, uh, if huge IOB data is put to misuse, it's unimaginable and unpredicted. See what sequences uh, may arise if it not if it is not used properly. So this is the more uh, threat issue. And um, so what we can just, uh, think that uh, see the technology what we are using we have to go for because the technology evolution uh, man growth will depend what we can say that all the stakeholders should think seriously of adequate safety and security measures of this advancing technology so global uniform laws are required to curb this misuse and unethical uses of this iwp Otherwise, it will become one more prank strain monster. So all the governments all over the world should squeeze this evil of misuse in the budding stage itself before it occurs uncontrollable proportions. So let's hope that this technology brings humankind happy in the standard living and positively contributes to the human growth and welfare. So I have a couple of questions for you. Um, there are a couple of things you mentioned. One is privacy. The other one is security. And the other one is regulations, right? So we have, um, based on this technology, there is no set regulations that are standard across the world uh, because of the fact that each different territory has its own regulations. So how are, how are companies like Amazon, how are they ensuring that they're not violating privacy of individuals and um, they're not violating any security measures in the local countries? How, how are they ensuring that they're not violating my rights as I go from location to location and they're not violating my, my privacy or sharing that information with others? Because they're tracking my footprint, right? That's what they're basically saying. They're tracking my every move to understand my behavior patterns and returns. So, okay, right now, some of the websites are following that their local regula uh, regulations. Mm -hmm. So when we talk from that, okay, suppose when uh, last time when I observed, when I log into the my OTT channel from the US, I have uh, the, uh, seeing different content. And when, when I'm, uh, same when I'm using in India, I'm seeing the different content as per the local regulations. Oh, so, so what you're saying is they're customizing their actual pages based on regulatory requirements yes. for the some of the content which I can see in yes uh, okay I could not be able to see in India. And how are they making sure that they're not violating my rights because they're actually gathering my information right they're gathering my behavior patterns. Yeah, that thing that that thing right now okay we don't have any declarations we cannot give the any assurance for that yeah. Okay. So basically, that, that, is, that is a problem right now. Rahul, Nanda, do you have any questions for Rajeshri? I had, I just wanted to understand from a technology point of view, there is no single technology, right? I think they're collecting the data and using data mining, identify what is the right product for the customer based on what he's clicking and, and do it, right? It's not a product per se, it's a 
we are putting a solution to meet iob right Which, yes yes just no. just all the data is going into the data lake and they are using uh, data mining such kind of technologies to analyze that data right but sometimes for uh, okay sometimes the it may be happening on the on real time also I mean, internet of behaviors is a concept of using a different technology, sir, so okay. that they can achieve the goal of theirs. Any other questions? Uh, I have one question. Like, uh, uh, is there any like uh, uh, laws or like uh, prohibiting like uh, sharing that kind of information? Uh, because like uh, uh, from my experience, when you see like uh, when you look at Facebook or something and you click on something. Uh, then based upon uh, what you saw and what you click on the facebook uh, i see most of the times so the other side also like uh, uh, promoting the same kind of product yes. so which means like that facebook is sharing that kind of information with the other companies as well yes if they if they request, okay if they request that they into they want to integrate this facebook and uh, uh, tiktok and all these uh, kind of people can expose their apis but uh, to stop that everywhere in every site offers a setting okay but by default it would be on so you have to go and manually stop when you uh, first time when you are log in or anything not to track anything any other questions so thank you so much vijayashree this was very informative um thank you so much for your time and, and so thank you for the insights on this um, topic this is very very informative and i learned a great deal about how they're checking my information thank you thank, thank you thank you and that concludes this digital transformation snack time snippet thank you for all that information thank you for all those questions and thanks for tuning in please come back in the future for more digital transformation snack time snippets